everybody, I'm Barber Dave, and you're watching Barber Dave Shaves and Such for the 4th of November, 2024. We'll be right back. Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Um, we're going to do a straight razor shave today. And those of you that are following my community blog know that I've been doing a week of Seaforth. Well, we're going to finish that off today. Uh, it's not really all a Seaforth um, shave. But it'll finish it off for the week with a uh, special edition aftershave that was made by Seaforth. So, hope everybody had a good weekend and they're starting their week off well. And if you haven't done so already, make sure tomorrow you get out and vote. It's an important vote. Also, don't forget to join us at www.theshavingcadre.com. Free to join, lots of fun, and we are self-moderated. Uh, also, just a quick change, um, if you follow Drinks and Daves on YouTube, which you should be if you're following this channel, um, we've moved our uh, show dates, our live show dates, to Mondays. So we will have a show tonight at 6 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Pacific, because those of you people on daylight savings time had to move your clocks those of us in arizona we don't play that we don't play that homie so you guys get an extra hours of sleep and we're lazy and don't get to change our clock so anyhow the soap i'm using ha, no i'm not gonna tell you to the end very nice soap this again was a special edition made uh for the ohio shavers meetup and you're thinking dave did you go to the ohio shavers meetup no but I have good friends that did, and they were kind enough to send me um, the soap and the aftershave. And um, the soap itself, and I'll go over the review in a minute, but it lathers wonderfully, as does this maker's soaps. And most of you have used these soaps before. And the razor I'm using, I've not used in a while. Most, most of my straight razors, I've been using a lot of heavier, heavier grind razors. But this razor is a little sports car. It's fun to use. Had a whole heck of a lot to talk about today, although our weather, the rain finally stopped. We had a great, almost all day long yesterday. Oh, it was nice. Wasn't so nice when we were outside doing some RV stuff, getting some air in the in the RV tires. And it was raining pretty good. And then just to uh, add to the fun. We went to this uh, 
place that it's a DIY dog grooming place. And what that means is they've got all the stuff that your groomer would have, you know, the tubs, the sprayers, the shampoo, towels, air dryers, uh, but you do it yourself. And it, you know, for 25 bucks, it's not bad, but when you have two Huskies, it's a show. Yeah, so we had fun doing that. That was our Monday, and that's why I apologize I didn't have a, a video yesterday because we were just too busy. And of course, today is Barbara Aaron Day, so we're out it again. And then our show tonight. So another another busy day around the ranch. And for those who are interested in our Drinks and Dave's live show tonight, the topic will be um, getting older <laughs> and all the fun stuff that comes along with that. Well, as I said, the rain, the rain finally stopped, but it's left uh, very cool weather. I think our our, hard, our high today is only supposed to be like 63, 64, which is beautiful for me. I love it. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on uh, over on the cadre. We're in the middle of our Rudolph giveaway. And that's basically a, a secret Santa. So that should be fun as we get closer and closer to Christmas. I mentioned earlier about going out and making sure you vote. The main thing that I'm happy about is that after all this crap, we're finally going to get away from the political commercials. I don't know how it is in your locale. But Arizona is considered a battleground state. So I don't know if that gives the advertisers carte blanche to go ape shit on advertising. But not only are we getting advertising, and you know, this may be speaking to the choir here, but we're getting phone calls, text messages. It's uh, it's a nonstop barrage. And we will be so glad when this is over. You know, you never thought that you'd be excited to see a hemorrhoid cream commercial again. But... I take that over the political commercials. Okay, we'll finish up our last pass here.
this uh, razor has been stropped. Twenty five on linen, twenty five on leather, and then uh, no, I'm sorry, fifty on leather, and then twenty five on a convex bench strap. I find that that actually is enough to maintain the edge. Okay, let's see how much cleanup we're going to need. And I did uh, this shave with warm water today. I don't normally do that. I'm normally a, a cold water shaver, but being the fact that it's a little bit chilly outside, I thought that would be, be nice. And it's it's okay. I mean, like I said, I still prefer a uh, cold cold water shave, but, but it's a nice change every once in a while. One thing about these smaller razors, they're the best for flat blading because you can really tweak them a lot. Okay, I think that'll pass muster. Oh, beautiful. Beautifully smooth shave. Let's see what the alum says. Because usually I get a little bit more of an alum uh, sting when I use warm or hot water to shave because it obviously plumps your skin up a little bit. Actually, not that bad today at all. But most of that is the razor. Razor just perfectly honed. Um, it's a wonderful little razor. I love it. So let that sit for a couple of minutes while we rinse all this stuff out. Also, for these of you who are straight raising, I don't know if I've ever met the, uh, mentioned this, but when you dry your razor off, rinse it real well. You could spray some alcohol on it if you want. Um, but make sure you clean between your scales because that will cause issues on certain types of blades, uh, whether it be dalmatianing, rusting, um, and you don't want that. I mean, you can always polish it out surface-wise, um, but at the same time, you just don't want that to happen. Nice cold water rinse. Beautiful shape. 
Uh, our witch hazel today is going to be quince, cucumber, and mint. And while that's drying down a little bit, we'll go over everything that we shaved with. Okay, for the soap today, I don't know what the scent notes are on this. It's a nice, very neutral type soap. Not heavy uh, fragrance or anything else. But it's called Woody's Victories. And uh, it's all about, obviously, the Ohio State Buckeyes. But it was made by Shannon Soaps uh, for the... Uh, Ohio Wet Shavers Meetup, and one of my friends actually, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the Ohio State Buckeyes, but, uh, you know, kind of neat to have, and it's a uh, very nice soap, uh, lathers well, as you can see. Uh, for the razor today, our little sports car, a class Tornblom, uh, shoulderless, and uh, just a beautiful, beautiful razor, fun to use, very thin, four eights, and just a nice little barber notch, and then the scales, match the brush. The brush is the Luca Brasi by Eric Sorrentino. Uh, I take on a chubby, but if, you, if you're big fans of the uh, Godfather series, as you know, those are the kind of the names of the brushes. Uh, this is the Luca Brasi, uh, which was a heavy set character. Not the smartest in the world, but uh, from that end. So the scales and the uh, brush match, and it's uh, very much cherished. I love it. Okay, that's pretty much dried down. And the aftershave, and this is finishing off the uh, Seaforth, uh, and this is called Buckeye. And this was made specifically uh, by Spearhead Shaving for the Ohio State Meetup. And there's, um, unfortunately, there's no uh, scent notes listed on that. So if any of you were at that Ohio State Meetup, meet uh, please put the uh, notes down in the comments. But it's got a very... It's got wow. This is uh, this is unique. It's uh, I smell apple. Uh, some deeper notes. Um, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to uh, hard to pick out, but it's uh, it's very refreshing. Uh, I think this one could be worn summer or winter. Uh, for the top today, we're going to be using Yardley Gold because it's got that kind of that citrusy feeling to it. Kind of a, I don't want to say a perfumey, but kind of a colonia type uh, type scent, but very fresh on the skin. And I'm actually going to also be using um, this aftershave because I don't think there was an EDT. I'm going to be using this for my uh, fragrance today. All right. Well, that's it, folks. Thank you for joining us on a Monday. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, we're at, sitting at 1567. So we're slowly making progress uh, towards 2000 where we'll do our next big giveaway. And I will probably unveil the brand new watch that I'm going to be giving away in the next couple of weeks or months, depending on how close we get. Uh, other than that, don't forget Mondays uh, nights at uh, 6 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Pacific, uh, Drinks and Daves on YouTube. And uh, again, we thank you for watching. So again, sorry I missed a shave yesterday. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do one tomorrow. A lot of busy stuff going on. But again, don't forget, get out and vote. No matter how you're going to vote, uh, just make sure you do that if you haven't done so already. I'm Barbara Dave. This has been Barbara Dave Shaves and Such. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful Monday. And we'll probably see you again tomorrow. If not, enjoy the rest of your week. And thank you so much for being a part of our channel. Take care. Mm -hmm.